What is that line? Define that line for us. How many people who are less well off than we are should be allowed in? We're the most prosperous nation in the world. There are going to be billions of other people around the world who are less well off than we are. What is that line? How many people should we let in? What are the standards for who should be let in? How are we going to vet them? Who should be sent back? And what are we going to do with the ones that we do let in? It's not complicated to answer that question, and the Democrats still refuse. Absolutely. I think this really gets to the heart of the idea of American sovereignty. I mean, that's what's really at stake here. I mean, that's part of the reason why people elected President Donald Trump to be president. This question of uh, where do we draw the line with sovereignty? I and mean, this is a very old American idea. We, the people of the United States, we have constitution. We have laws that, that dictate who can come to the United States and who can't. We judge as a people who we think will be best to be in this country. A mob of people that we don't really know about, that may just be seeking jobs, that may be violent, that may be part of gangs, or they may be, in fact, in some rare cases, part of terrorist organizations. This is something the American people don't necessarily want in their country. I think the American people have the right to determine what that is. It's not the right of other people to come across our border and demand things from the United States. Right. And I think uh, something that the mainstream media is not covering, two things, actually. First of all, they're not covering the fact that this migrant caravan was offered asylum uh, in Mexico. They're not, they're not from Mexico originally and uh, fleeing here to the United States to escape, you know, drug cartel violence or the like, they were offered safe haven in Mexico uh, and they turned it down. They turned it down. They're also, they've also broken laws already. They, they just barreled over border security in some of these South American countries to even get into Mexico in the first place. Those two things, uh, liberals who are talking about this, the few liberals who are talking about this, and the mainstream media, who are the shills of the left, they're ignoring that. They're not telling the American people the truth about this. They're acting like these are all innocent, well-meaning people, and I'm sure many of them are, but they're acting like all of them, for sure, without vetting, are innocent, well-meaning people who are just here to seek a better life and safety for their family, and that's, that's unfortunately not true. Yeah, these people really are being weaponized for political purposes. Yes, many of these people undoubtedly come from very bad backgrounds. Places like Honduras, they're countries that have had a lot of problems. But we have very specific standards in this country for granting asylum. It's not just your country is a bad place to live. It's, well, your government's actually going after you and, and, re and, and repressing you. And that's something that's a very specific standard that was set by the Trump administration. So the idea that these people should just be let into the United States and just allowed in and that'll be fine, I think a lot of people shirk at that. I think a lot of people worry that that'll be the case. And certainly that was encouraged under the Obama administration. That was encouraged by left-wing ideologues who say, well, all these people should be simply let in. I think that encourages people to take these incredible risks to cross these dangerous places, thinking that they're just going to be released into the United States and that'll be that. That's a really dangerous way of thinking.